All right, so this is the build video for the Snow Owl and a rifle. Um, this is basically how it looks somewhat assembled. Um, that goes on there. But that's kind of how it looks. Um, but let's start with the tip of the barrel. So this slots onto this PVC pipe. Um, this pops in there. And then all of that slots into the main body here. So this slides in there and this slides in there. And then for this owl head, it goes right there in those indentions. Uh, the bolt slides in there. Uh, there's one on each side. They're mirror, so look for that little indention. The slide all goes together. Uh, one side has this hole for the bolt action. So that goes in there. And then moving up to the scope. So these slide on this tube. These pop on there. Uh, then these pop in there. And then all of it goes on top of this. So you just kind of you know slide it down to the exact place. And then once you've done all that, then this cover goes on there. And then these little decorations slot in. And yeah, that covers pretty much the scope. Um, moving on, let's start at the front. So we got the main, well, main part of the body here. Um, these tubes pop in there. Uh, this claw part. This pops in right there. Um, then for the second part of the body, you got uh, pegs. They're quarter inch pegs that you need. Um, you just put two in there and then put them in. And then this goes in right there. And these tubes go inside there. And then this covers up right there. So it aligns with the tube and the I don't know, barrel, I guess that's what you call it. No, clip, something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, but moving on down, so you got this part that goes right there. This that goes right there when the peg goes through it. Make sure it's all aligned. Um, then you got the butt of the rifle. Uh, this part slots them right there. These parts slot together. Uh, then you, you got the know, end of the butt of the rifle. I don't, I don't know what you would call this. But uh, you got two pegs there, quarter inch. You just get some uh, dowels at Home Depot or Lowe's. And those slot in there. And then for the end part here, this kind of slots on that, uh, locks it all down. And then this claw goes in there. Uh, you're gonna have to sand these all to get them all flush fitting and you know correctly snugged in but yeah that's pretty much all there is if you have any other questions hit up habitierworkshop.com all right thanks a lot